Hello, I'm Mayanna with Heartwood Art, and today I'll show you how I made this over-the-mower shelving unit. It's great for getting your push mower out of the way, hanging your tools, and storing their accessories and more. Be sure to come visit me at Heartwood Art and follow this YouTube channel for more helpful tips. Okay, let's dive in. First, measure your mower. I placed some scrap 2x4s around my mower to help me get my width and depth measurements. The boards on the side are 45 inches long. Now I'm repurposing them from another build, so that has everything to do with why I chose that depth. With this depth, my mower handlebar will stick out about 1.5 feet, and I'm fine with that. The interior width is 30 inches. Be sure to adjust these dimensions to your mower, and if you plan to store it with the exhaust piece or a bag or such. Okay, let's do the side frame dimensions. You'll need to build two of these frame sides. Here are the dimensions. The uprights are 72 inches from the top of the back 2x4 at the bottom to the bottom of the first shelf 2x4 is 21 inches. My plywood is half an inch. So from the top of that plywood to the bottom of the next 2x4 is 11 inches. Same for the next shelf up. Of course, the 2x4 side rail at the top is flush with the top of the upright. That gives you 10 inches from the top of the plywood to the bottom of that 2x4. So here's how I did my side frame layout and build. Now if you have tools that would help you square your side frame another way, then use that. I was working solo, and this is how I chose to do it. I put the brakes on the wheels of my workbench and clamped the 72-inch upright pieces to it vertically. No matter how you do this, you're going to have to check the square and plumb on three sides to ensure that it's standing straight. Then lay one of the 45-inch boards on the floor and check square every way you can and clamp that into place. I'm using two and one half inch construction screws for this frame. And since all the weight of the shelves will ride on these screws, I used a three point pattern. A four or five point pattern would be overkill, I think, for what I'll be placing on the shelves. You do what works best for your needs. Okay, let's talk about the shelf boards for the first side frame. So to get me up off the floor, I placed extra two by fours on my bench and then laid the side frame on those. This will allow me to clamp the rest of the rail boards to the vertical frame pieces. I measured from the bottom 2x4 and placed the first shelf board. Be sure to check for square on both sides and then clamp. Then countersink and add screws to both sides of the board. Repeat for all four shelf boards. But when you get to the top board, be sure to check for square by taking diagonal measurements from the bottom corner to the top. You may need to pull your vertical frame boards a little one way or the other to adjust for square. Okay, now let's do the shelf boards for the second side frame. To ensure I made the second side frame exactly like the first, I placed it on top of the first frame, but with the insides together. Then I squared and clamped the top shelf board and placed one screw in the middle to hold it. Then I flipped the second frame over and added the normal three screws on each side to that top board. After that, it was just a matter of lining up the other three shelf boards to match the ones on the other side frame, and then clamping and screwing them in. Okay, now let's install the stretchers to one side frame. This is a process I used. If you have a helper to hold up the sides, that would work too. You'll need all four of your 30 inch two by fours for this, but you'll only be screwing in three of them. The spare is for the front opening where you roll your mower in, and it's just to help keep the whole frame square. I use pocket hole screws for attaching the stretchers to the side frames. If you're gonna do that, the settings are for the bit, one and a half inch, and for the screw, two and a half inch. But I didn't find the screws to hold it tight enough, so I used the same number nine, two and a half construction screws in the crack holes. Be sure not to over tighten them or you'll split that wood. Plus, drilling for pocket hole screws allow me to use my pocket hole clamp to help hold the stretcher board in place while I install the first screw on that side. To install the top board, I flipped the frame upside down and clamped it to a pole in my shop. That way I could use the floor to ensure the top back stretcher board was square and level to the frame. Next, install the top front stretcher. I laid this one flat to give me the tallest opening at the front of that shelf. And then I flipped the side frame on its side to install the bottom back board. 
Now let's attach stretchers to the other side frame. And this is the way I did it solo. If you have other folks to help you hold the side frames, that would be great. I turned the left side frame upright and clamped it to the pole. Then I brought in the right side frame and clamped it to my bench with the wheels locked, of course. Now the bottom 30 inch board is my spare stretcher that's just dry fitted to help ensure the frame is square. It took nearly every clamp I had to hold the entire frame square. At the top, you can see one of the lumbar clamps I have. At the bottom, you can see how I used three small clamps in series to span the frame. Now here's how I clamped it on the back side. My other lumbar clamp is at the top, and then two smaller bar clamps are used in series across the bottom. Check for square and attach. And now you're ready to screw in the 30 inch stretchers to the other side of the frame. Once you're done, check your mower for fit. Your frame should now be freestanding, so roll your mower in and check it. If all's good, you're ready for the shelves. Now let's cut the shelving plywood. Measure the inside of your frame from upright to upright in the front, then repeat for the back. Both should be 33 inches. And your length along the side rail should be 45 inches. Honestly, I would measure each shelf space and cut accordingly in case your frame is not perfectly square, which is common when using dimensional lumber. I had some scrap half inch plywood from a floor change, so that's what I used for this project. And I cut my plywood on the floor using foam sheets under it. You can see this post for more details. And I used my homemade edge guide, and you can see this post for more details. These little F clamps are perfect for this project as they are flat on the top, which is turned toward the floor in this application. Regular clamps are just too tall. Now let's install shelves. Let's do the one on the bottom first and then clamp it into place. I used my right angle drill for the pilot holes and countersink. And then I used my regular drill with a star bit that came with the screws so it wasn't too tall and I could use it to attach the screws. I used number eight by one and a quarter construction screws to secure each shelf. I installed three to four on each side into the two by four support. Your shelf should be complete now and ready for customization. I use large screw in hooks for hanging a few of my yard tools. Okay, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on how I made this over the lawnmower shelf. Come on over and visit Heartwood Art and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more helpful builds and tips just like this one.